Surah number 42 Ashura the council the consultation it has the 53 verses and it is revealed in Makka A'uzu billahi minash shaitanir rajim I seek the protection of Allah against the devil Bismillahir rahmanir rahim in the name of Allah the most beneficent and the most merciful Amin Ain seen kaf These letters are one of the miracles of the Quran and none but Allah alone knows their meanings Likewise Allah the almighty the all wise inspires you O Muhammad peace be upon him as he inspired those before you To him belongs all that is in the heavens and all that is in the earth and he is the most high the most great Nearly the heavens might rank asunder from above them by his majesty and the angels glorify the praises of their lord and ask for forgiveness for those on the earth verily allah is the often forgiving the most merciful and as for those who take as auliya guardians supporters helpers protectors other besides him that is they take the false deities other than the allah as protectors and they worship them allah his hafiz the protector over them that is takes care of their deeds and will recompense them and you o muhammad peace be upon him are not a wakil guardian or disposer of their affairs over them to protect their deeds and thus we have inspired unto you o muhammad peace be upon him a quran in arabic that you may warn the mother of the towns makkah and all around it and warn of the day of assembling of which there is no doubt when a party will be in paradise those who believed in allah and followed what the allah's messenger prophet muhammad peace be upon him brought them and a party in the blazing fire hell those who disbelieved in allah and followed not what allah's messenger peace be upon him brought them and if allah had willed he could have made them one nation but he admits whom he wills to his mercy and the zalimun the polytheists and the wrong doers will have neither a wali nor a helper or have they taken for worship aliya the guardians supporters helpers protectors besides him but allah he alone is the wali the protector and it is he who gives life to the dead and he is able to do all the things and in whatsoever you differ the decision thereof is with allah he is the ruling judge and say o muhammad peace be upon him to these polytheists such is allah my lord in whom i put my trust and to whom i turn in all of my affairs and in repentance the creator of the heavens and the earth He has made for you mates from yourselves and from the cattle also mates by this means he creates you in the wombs there is nothing like unto him and he is the all hearer the all seer to him belongs the keys of the heavens and the earth he enlarges provision for whom he wills and straightens it for whom he wills verily he is the all knower of the everything He Allah has ordained for you the same religion Islam which he ordained for the Nu alaihi salam and that which he have inspired in you O Muhammad peace be upon him and that which we ordained for Ibrahim alaihi salam the Musa alaihi salam the Isa alaihi salam saying you should establish religion that is to do what it orders you to do practically and make no divisions in the religions that is various sects in religions intolerable for the mushrikun is that to which you o muhammad peace be upon him call them allah chooses for himself whom he wills and guides unto himself who turns to him in repentance and in obedience and they divided not till after knowledge had come to them through selfish transgression between themselves and had it not been for a word that went forth before from your lord for an appointed term the matter would have been settled between them and merely 
those who were made to inherit the scripture that is the torah and the injil after them that is jews and the christians are in grave doubt concerning it that is allah's true religion islam and the quran so into this the religion of islam alone in this quran then invite people o muhammad peace be upon him and istaqim that is stand firm and straight on the islamic monotheism by performing all that is ordained by allah and by abstaining from all that is forbidden by allah that is sins evil deeds as you are commanded and follow not their desires but say i believe in whatsoever allah has sent down of the book all that is all the holy books this quran and the books of the old from the torah or the injil or the pages of the ibrahim alay salam and i am commanded to do justice among you allah is our lord and your lord for us our deeds and for you your deeds there is no dispute between us and you allah will assemble us all and to him is the final written and those who dispute concerning allah his religion of islamic monotheism with which muhammad peace be upon him has been sent after it has been accepted by the people of no use is their dispute before their lord and on them is wrath and for them will be a severe torment it is allah who has sent down the book the quran in truth and the balance that is to act justly and what can make you know that perhaps the hour is close at hand those who believe not they are in seek to hasten it while those who believe are fearful of it and know that it is the very truth verily those who dispute concerning the hour are certainly in error far away allah is very gracious and kind to his slaves he gives provisions to him he wills and he is the all strong the almighty whosoever desires with his deeds the reward of the hereafter we give him increase in his reward and whosoever desires the reward of this world with his deeds we give him thereof what is written for him and he has no portion in the hereafter or have they partners with allah who have instituted for them a religion which allah has not allowed and had it not been for a decisive word gone forth already the matter would have been judged between them and verily for the zalimun there is a painful torment you will see on the day of resurrection the zalimun fearful of that which they have earned and at allah's torment will surely befall them while those who believe in the oneness of allah and do the righteous good deeds will be in the flowering meadows of the garden's paradise having what they wish from their lord that is the supreme grace the paradise that is the paradise where of allah gives the glad tidings to his slaves who believe in the oneness of allah and do the righteous good deeds say o muhammad peace be upon him no reward do i ask of you for this except to be kind to me for my kinship with you and who ever earns a good righteous deed we shall give him an increase of good in respect thereof verily allah is the often forgiving most ready to appreciate the deeds of those who are obedient to him or say that he has invented a lie against allah if allah will he could have sealed your heart so that you forget all that you know of the quran and allah wipes out the falsehood and establishes the truth islam by his word this quran verily he knows well what the secrets are in the breast of the mankind and he it is who accept their repentance from his slaves and forgives the sins and he knows what you do and he answers the invocation of those who believe in the oneness of allah and do the righteous good deeds and gives them the increase of his bounty and as for the disbelievers there will be a severe torment and if allah were to enlarge the provision for his slaves they would surely rebel in the earth but he sends down by measure as he wills 
Verily, he is in respect of his slaves, the well aware, the all seer of the things that benefit them. And he it is who sends down the rain after they have despaired and spreads about abroad his mercy. And he is the wali, the helper, supporter, the protector, worthy of all praise. And among his ayah is the creation of the heavens and the earth, and whatever among the living creatures he has dispersed in them both and he is the all potent over their assembling that is resurrecting them on the day of resurrection after their death and dispersion of their bodies whenever he will and whatever of misfortune befalls you it is because of what your hands have earned and he pardons much and you cannot escape from Allah, that is his punishment in the earth. And besides Allah, you have neither any wali, guardian or protector, nor any helper. And among his signs are the ships in the sea like the mountains. If he wills, he causes the wind to cease. Then they would become the motionless on the back of the sea. Verily, in this are the signs for everyone patient and grateful or he may destroy them by drowning them because of that which they have earned and he pardons much and those who dispute as regards our ayah may know that there is no place of refuge for them from the Allah's punishment. So whatever you have been given is but a passing enjoyment of this worldly life but that which is with Allah the paradise is better and more lasting for those who believe in the oneness of Allah and put their trust in their Lord concerning all of their affairs and those who avoid the greater sins and al-fawahish that is illegal sexual intercourse and when they are angry they forgive and those who answer the call of their Lord that is to believe that he is the only one Lord Allah and to worship none but him alone and perform the as and who conduct their affairs by mutual consultation and who spend on what we have bestowed on them. And those who when an oppressive wrong is done to them, they take the revenge. The recompense for an evil is an evil like thereof. But whoever forgives and makes the reconciliation, his reward is due from the Allah. Verily, he likes not the Zalimun. And indeed, Whosoever takes the revenge after he has suffered wrong, for such there is no way of blame against them. The way of blame is only against those who oppress men and wrongly rebel in the earth, for such there will be a painful torment. And verily, whosoever shows the patience and forgives, that would truly be from the things recommended by Allah, and whomsoever Allah sends astray, for him there is no valley after him, and you will see the Zalimun when they behold the torment. They will say, Is there any way of return to the world? And you will see them brought forward to the hell, made humble by disgrace, and looking with stealthy glance. And those who believe will say, Verily, the losers are they who lose themselves and their families on the day of resurrection. Verily, the Zalimun, that is the Kafirun, disbelievers in Allah and His Oneness and His Messenger, will be in a lasting torment. And they will have no awliya, the protectors, to help them other than the Allah. And he whom Allah sends astray, for him there is no way. Answer the call of your Lord. Before there comes from Allah a day which cannot be averted, you will have no refuge on that day nor there will be for you any denying of your crimes as they are all recorded in the book of your deeds. But if they turn away, O Muhammad, peace be upon him, which you have brought to them, we have not sent you, O Muhammad, peace be upon him, as a hafiz, protector over them, that is, to take care of their deeds and to recompense them. Your duty is to convey the message, and verily, when we cause men to taste of mercy from us, he rejoices thereat. But when he 
some ill befalls them because of the deeds which their hands have sent forth then verily man becomes the ingrate to allah belongs the kingdom of the heavens and the earth he creates what he wills he bestows female offspring upon whom he wills and bestows male offspring upon whom he wills or he bestows both males and females and he renders barren whom he wills verily he is the all knower and is able to do all the things it is not given to any human being that allah should speak to him unless it be by inspiration or from behind the veil or that he sends a messenger to reveal what he wills by his leave verily he is the most high most wise and thus we have sent to you o muhammad peace be upon him ruhan an inspiration and a mercy of our command you knew not what is the book nor what is the faith but if we have made it this quran a light there with we guide whosoever of our slaves we will and verily you o muhammad peace be upon him are indeed guiding mankind to the straight path the path of allah to whom belongs all that is in the heavens and all that is in the earth verily all the matters at the end go to the allah for the decision sadaqallahul azim